um, flourish video because I forgot to put one on um, card flourish on Friday. So today is going to be um, four or th yeah four different versions of a very famous card flourish by Chris Kenner, I think it was, called the Civil Cut. And that we're going to be learning the two packet, um, the three packet, another three packet that I learned from Mike Patrick on Howcast. We're going to be learning the regular civil cut or the four packet. We're going to be learning a five packet civil cut. And then you can just kind of do a little bit of card juggling. And last but not least, a six packet. So I'm just going to say right off the bat, um, except for the two packet, these are very difficult moves so let's get into it the two packet you're gonna kind of just you're gonna get into mechanics grip which is your pinky middle and pinky ring and middle on a side your pointer and your thumb on the other side and all you're gonna do is break all you're gonna do is just you're gonna pivot your thumb and take your middle and just break it off so you're gonna do this and you're gonna kind of bring this packet down and then kind of move your hand inward so you can grab this packet bring your hand bring this hand up so it clears turn it around you can I use these four um, fingers and just bring it on top and that will that's the two packet and now the three packet one is a little bit harder it looks like this so this is the three packet. I haven't really mastered all of these myself, but it's just something to put up to you guys. So, the three packet. You're going to get something called end grip, which looks like this. So how you're going to do this is you're going to do the same break, but with the pointer, you're going to break off the same thing, so you have three packets. And then again, you're going to bring the first packet up, and then turn your wrist to get this middle packet and then push up it clears you bring over and with these three fingers your middle ring and pinky you're going to well, let me get back in that position you're going to grab the packet and push to the side and push up that's the hardest part of the move and then you're going to grab the middle you're going to bring up you're going to bring all of them down and then bring it out. So again, cut cut three packets, twist your hand down, up, three fingers, grab the packet, up, grab, bring them down, bring it up. Okay? So the other three packet one. This one's a little easier because you don't you're not gonna use your three fingers. This is like the two packet equivalent of a three packet, if that makes any sense. So this this takes a little bit of practice to do fluently, but you're gonna do the end grip, but instead of doing it kind of like this, you're gonna pivot off like that, like a backwards, and then go. So it's kind of oh this this is um, Z grip or end grip. So, like that, and what you're going to do is you're going to bring this packet with the, with the packet in your hand. You're going to twist up, grab it, bring it up, and then take it out. So, end grip, down, bring up, do that. And end grip is used for a lot of things, like biddle, 
grip and grip is used for things like let me see if I can get it used for things like the worm um, it's used for a lot of you do a three packet you, it's used for a lot of moves. so it's something nice to learn now this is the one I had a, the most trouble with is the four packet so you're gonna do the same thing but then break off one packet and you don't want to do it like I just did but you just want to make it kind of one motion I usually do this and then just do that so you're gonna have it like that with this packet you'll find out it's very pivoty so you'll pivot it up you will get this middle packet and push up and you're gonna grab it with your three fingers bring it to the side and then get prepared to do do the first phase again grab this packet press up and bring ev like push like with these three fingers fold in this packet put it on this and put it um sorry I had 20% battery so again do N cock your hand down get it push it up three fingers side grab this packet fold in bring it to the bottom like that and just to let you know ace of ace of diamonds and the king of clubs so ace on the top and king on the bottom just by the way so now with that now with knowing the four packet Um, now what you're going to do is the five packet Sybil cut. Um, so this is what that looks like. I dropped a couple of cards again. I always drop cards. And you can see... I want the Ace of Spades this time. I guess that wasn't false. Well, let me do it again, just to tell you that it is false. Ace of Spades and the King of Clubs. And then... How come it doesn't... I'll figure it out later. But, you're gonna do the same N grip, um, Z grip. You're going to do the same thing until you're right here. About to grab this packet, just grab a little bit off. Like maybe 10, 15 cards or so. So then you have this nice display. You can do what Dynamo does in his Dynamo Shuffle. Do kind of like the little chin thing. And then you're going to take this packet and you're going to square it up with this packet. And then complete this fold in so you have this packet but take this packet and then I usually take these two fingers twist bring it and put it on top okay I guess I have to figure out what I did wrong because I have the bottom on it but that's the basic idea now the next is the six packet this is the, one of the hardest now you have six packets. Sorry about that. So, the, this one is going to take the most practice. Not saying that the other ones aren't hard enough, but, oh, and weirdly I can get this one to be false, but I can't get the other one. So, six of spades, king of clubs. So what you're gonna, the, all of these are just a little bit variation, so, you're going to do the same Z. You're going to cock down, bring, do this. You're going to do the five packet thing. But right here, you're going to take the, like, the little broken off fifth packet. And you're going to swing it up to this packet and use it with your pointer. So you have your middle, you have those three fingers. You're going to curl in your ring and use your pinky and middle with that packet to break it off. And then you have a nice six display. You know. Like this, and then with the fold, you can fold in that packet. Oh, what you can do now is 
with the this packet right here. You drop it. Eh, this is hard. How do you explain this? You take the folded packet, you bring it in, you drop this, I think it's this packet, and then you drop, then you, I do a little bit of card juggling, and then still six of spades and the king of clubs. So again, you do the first part, you bring down three, three fingers, Five packet, take your middle, bring it up, get it with your pinky, fold in your ring, middle finger, break off, I'm about to drop cards, and then right here, take the, the three finger packet, you fold it in, so it hits these three packets, then you grab this, you bring this in, leave that one, you take the top packet, you grab it like this, do some card juggling if you want, And then still, six of spades and the king of clubs. So, just to let you know again, the five packet Sybil. This, I guess, it's, you bring this one, you do this. I usually do what Dynamo does, do a one-handed ban. And then all you do is you bring it in right here, then... Well, before I destroy my phone, that's the two, three, four, five, and six packet Sybil cut. Um, this is number the two. I'll do all of them again. Three. How about I do that one again? Sorry, guys. I haven't mastered these yet. The th other three packet. The four packet. Let me just get into my mask there. I think the three packet one's the hardest because they're chunkier packets. And my hands are very small. So that was really hard. This is the five packet. So. Sorry, my TV made a weird noise. Then you do that. Oh, I forgot to mention, for the five and six packet Sybils, when you bring them in, when you're doing them, you're going to have that. You're going to take the packet, then you're going to do the card juggling. Just, if I didn't say that already, there you go. And now the six packet. And you do card juggling. And then... Cards are still on the top. So, um, this is a rather long video. As I said in the first video, um, I'm trying to keep these magic videos maybe around 5, 7 minutes at the least. But 15 minutes is a pretty long time, so... This will probably be my longest magic video. If not, it will probably be my next video. The f it'll be the 4-H production. Hint, hint to the next video. Hint, hint. And I will give you a little... So, I guess I might give you a little preview of what that would look like. Just So it would give you a little... Um indication of what that move would look like. Okay. Alright, so, I've been told, I'll do a little, you know, scenario. So, I've been told that I'm a master card shark. So, what I can do is simply...
just by doing this. I'm going to punch someone. I'll do that again. So, it's going to be hard to see this angle, but... I'm going to, of course, have my top-down view, but... Flip it over, you get, you know, that. So, I guess, you know, just ignore all this. I'm just dropping cards like an idiot, so... Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want more of these magic videos, and if you guys want me to stop doing these, I guess I will, but magic is something that I want to do, and, you know, it's something that I think is, you know, really fun. It's interesting, it's... Um, deceiving, it's aesthetically pleasing to the eye, that sounded weird, but, and, yeah, so, you practice all of these moves, just ignore that, I guess my, I guess my cat's at the door, but just ignore that 4 production thing, I'll have a better shot at it in the tutorial. Hint, hint, Magic Trick Monday. <laughs> oh, and I don't know if I'm going to upload a video tomorrow because it's Martin Luther King Day. I guess I will. I guess I have no school. So, yep. Leave a like, comment, subscribe on the video if you have any questions or comments. And follow me on Instagram. And if you have any questions, email me. I have a. You can email me. I'll leave my email the description, so, yeah, I'll see you next time, bye.